in the ninth round of the ages. A Warhammer battle is being deployed by Dreadolfs with Corsairs. Yes. And uh, a prince on Pegasus, Tower Guards, an altar in a unit of Dread Legionnaires, two hunting chariots, and the fast cavalry with the wizard conclave in the rear. On the opposite side, after the Dreadolves have dropped everything, the same old goblin army with three scrapping this time and nine river trolls in one unit. And then vanguards and scouts. The Dreadolf scouts are out on their own flank, then the squigs and the two squig heroes vanguard. Before the Dread Elves come with their own fast cav, vanguarding up. More vanguarding Dread Elf fast cav. And they're coming out towards the flank. They're very active to win the flank war, the chaff war. The last vanguarders in these old wood elf glades where the cobweb has settled on the ruins and the merry elves have long left. These corsairs vanguard up with the Pegasus Prince. There's only a lone pump wagon to defend at the flank of the goblin army. The Dread Elves, however, take the first turn and move up rapidly on the vanguarding squigs. There's a tightly packed goblin line with some orc boar boys. The goblin general on the Gargantula is no longer the troll king. We needed some discipline, so we got in a cave goblin king with a crown of autocracy. The Dread Elves complete their movement, get up onto the objective on the side here. They cast a 3d6 missile spell with 3 dice, they're all high, so the goblin, wizard mage, master mage, chooses to use all his dice to dispel, not to lose any squigs. The squigs are magical. We can't let them go. There are few spells within range. That's a struggle for the new Dark Elf player. Was very used to long range with highborn elves. Um, I three dice uh, boosted version of Raven's Wing on the Spearman unit. The altar is moving forwards. And, so uh, it did not go off. It fizzles. Because uh, that's an, uh, I should have a cast four dice. I forgot it was nine plus. I thought it was low. But it wouldn't have gone off anyway on the unboosted version. So that's a flopped matching face. Indeed. But now on to shooting. Aha! The squig unit really gets it. The two heroes are down to two and one wound respectively. After all the light troops and scouts have fired off at them from short range. This was effective. It was part of the plan, but the Dread Elf player did not get through the Hereditary spell, which would have given, given reroll to wound. Very effective against the toughness four squigs. Now the hunting chariots, however, both missed on their shots. Four plus to hit against the hard targets. That was it. The squigs were the ones to feel it in the first Dread Elf round. They've lined up strategically otherwise. The goblins move up, 
they charge the light troops who'd almost shot up the squigs with the squigs. The trolls, after the general yelled wog, tried in their scaly hides to find it within themselves to charge these cloaked dread elves. They fled, they redirected into the tower guards. It was a 12 charge on three dice with Swiss stride, but they failed. Two dice, of course. And now Willow the Wisp is cast on the Boar Boys. They've all moved up heavily. It's not dispelled. The Dread Elves take the bait. They clip onto the Green Idol. Not everyone gets in. We've been calculating how many wounds the Tower Guards will do. That's about 8 or something if they're in a horde and everyone gets in. But they didn't. The Dread Prince and Spearman charge the Boar Boys. And that's it. The Corsairs keep fleeing. Strid dristi fram i kamp mot troll, en time forut for din tid. The Dread Elf player is using his foresight, casting minus weapon skill, deceptive glamour on the trolls, and breath of corruption on the acolytes. The remaining squigs are shot down. This is the Dread Elf Light Cavalry corner, the fast moving troops. In the center, the Boar Boys are broken, losing only 5 wounds, but they break because of the overwhelming force. The Dread Elf Auxiliaries, Spearmen, overrun into enemy territory. And the Dread Prince on Pegasus overruns into the Gargantula. Five wounds are lost on the Green Idol. But it manages its supernal test and does not crumble any wounds. So it has one wound left. On turn two, the River Trolls charge into the Tower Guards. That's the only charge. The Spearmen charge into the River Trolls' rear as does the hunting chariot. The scrap wagon is shot down here and the chaffing wolf riders are charged by the acolytes and the hunting chariot. The spider lost one wound as did the elven general. And in my magic phase now I got really lucky on the dice and I managed both deceptive glamour on the trolls. Boosted deceptive glamour so they have weapon skill 1 and I also got a free roll 2 and, uh, on that unit. The hereditary spell. So the dread elf blocks are almost gone but they're movement wise on the initiative. The trolls lose 12 wounds and they auto break. Everything pursues them and they're running into the deployment zone. 9 inches. 8 with the spearman. They don't have. No, 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 no. 8. The spinner run 8, the chariot catches the trolls. They have got spank. Not well, can't you go for them? We'll uh, quit the battle right now. It was an even battle, but the uh, spider was killed, almost killed, and fled from the combat here. And that made the battle in the Dread Elves' favor. The trolls were chased down. Now the scrap wagon would have killed, probably killed the remaining blackguards and overrun into the chariot with unknown results. So it would have been uh, uh, less than even of a victory in the Dread Elves' favor.